Joining us to talk more about UFOs in next week's hearing is Bryce Zabel. He's a writer and investigative journalist who covers UFOs. Bryce, thanks so much for joining us. Now, we're expecting to hear from three whistleblowers at next week's committee hearing. What do you expect is going to be the most surprising, interesting, or maybe the most important claims that are going to be made by these three individuals? Well, I'm not entirely sure that we are going to hear new material that people who have been interested in the topic haven't heard before. Because as you pointed out, the the original whistleblower, David Grush, actually told his story exclusively to my Need to Know podcast partner, Ross Coltart, on News Nation. And the other two people, Ryan Graves and uh, David Fravor, are pilots who have told their story previously. But this time, they're going to be under oath. They're going to tell their story to Congress, and they're going to do it in public session. So I think it's going to help at least start to get everybody on the same page about the fact that whatever is happening is authentic and real and, and kind of troubling. Yeah, really. We saw so many people across the world paying attention to that story when one of the whistleblowers, David Grush, made that appearance making those claims. One of those allegations that the U.S. actually has spacecraft from non-human species in its possession. Um, obviously, you've spoken to Grush. What do you know about sure. that claim? And, and do you also believe that's credible? Well, I've been looking into this for 30 years, to be honest with you. And, and I think what David Grush is doing is telling the truth. And he's a, he's a brave man and a patriot. I mean, this is a man who worked inside the Pentagon at the highest levels. He has the highest security classification. He was a man who worked on the presidential daily briefing, and he was trusted to hand carry it over to the Oval Office. This is a very high up person. And, and, and you're right. I, I met uh, Dave Grush in May. He actually came to my house, and we, uh, we talked to him the day before he recorded for News Nation. And I think the things he's saying are sensational. He's talking about uh, a double-digit number of crafts that we've recovered, some of them intact. He's talking about reverse engineering by private aerospace companies. He's actually talking about bodies. So these are sensational things, which only a few years ago would have been dismissed as completely fringe. But they're not really fringe if people within our own military at highly classified levels are talking about it. I mean, David Grush told his story originally under oath over 11 hours of testimony to the, to the intelligence uh, committees in Congress. If he was lying, and if he is lying, and if he lies next week, then he'll go to jail. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually think you have to give great credibility to what Dave Grush is saying. And I want to make sure that we understand Dave Grush is the first whistleblower to be approved to uh, uh, to take his story out uh, under the Whistleblower Protection Act that was passed a couple of year, a year ago. And the other two pilots have actually told their story and they are not whistleblowers. They have been able to speak their story freely and have done so. Yeah, and I think really adding to the momentum of this story is now these lawmakers getting involved, Representative Luna and Burchett, sure. uh, who are alleging a government cover-up with respect to the information on UAPs. I want to ask you about the credibility sure. of those claims. And when we think about this, what motive really would the Pentagon have to withhold information from <laughs> the public? Well, let me put it this way. The Pentagon has been withholding information from the public for years, and you don't have to take my word for it. There's been a number of documents released over the years through the Freedom of Information Act, which show that the uh, Pentagon was, in fact, investigating UFOs, even as they were telling the American public that they weren't and that there was nothing to see there. Uh, what motivation? Well, first of all, uh, sources and methods is always uh, talked about, but also attempts to gain an advantage in technology if we, in fact, are reverse engineering some kind of non-human intelligence uh, technology. Uh, we would want to have that to ourselves. And frankly, uh, there may be concern uh, within the Pentagon uh, among some groups that this would cause unnecessary turmoil. But to be honest with you, uh, Alex, it's 2023. I think we can handle the truth, and I think it's time for people to get ready to hear it. Bryce, we got to get out of here, but I want to put you on the spot real quick. One word answer. Sure. Here's the question. UAPs, yep. are they a threat to national security? I think some of them are. Yes. And with the allegation that there are dozens now within the U.S. possession, uh, certainly adds a lot more context to the story. Bryce Zabel, thank you very much thank for you. your time today. All right. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.